Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Look Back, a series of videos I do where I take a look at games that came out a year, five years, and ten years ago. And, well, I'm talking about my reviews of them that I did that many years ago, and what I think about the games now, if I think about them at all. Just a few short, this is going to be a short video today, because it's not, there's just not a lot of videos I did these past couple weeks, and there's nothing from ten years ago. But a year ago, me and my kids looked to take a look at Uno All Wilds, where it's a game of Uno, and every card in it is wild. Insanity, stupid, terrible, 2 out of 10. Dune Betrayal. This is a social deduction game with a little too much going on, and I think that made it just not very fun to play, 5 out of 10. Endogenesis. A game where you're making like some card combos in front of you. I like the concept of it. I think it's interesting, but it seems to be missing something that just makes you want to come back to it time after time. So 6 out of 10. And then Isle of Cats, Explore and Draw. So this one I, I liked. It's a, it's, you know, the roll and write version of Isle of Cats, and it's fun. Um, almost to the point where, when I play this over Isle of Cats, I'm not sure, but it's, it's good. Five years ago, I took a look at Apocalypse Zoo of Carson City, one of the worst games I've ever played. This is a one. Terrible art, terrible game. Everything about it is an abomination. Uh, Candy Grams, you're building like a crossword in front of you. I like the idea of it, but it just didn't, it was not a very good game at all. Five out of ten. MS Batori, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. This is an actual ship. This is from Grana Games. It's a neat, like, 3D level ship type game uh, where you're trying to figure out who kills one, but unfortunately the game itself is just okay. A 6 out of 10. Perudo, this is one of the versions of Liar's Dice, which is a very, very good game of bluffing and rolling dice, 7.5. And Pocket Ops. This is a nice little two-player, almost Stratego-esque game, a little small game from Grand Gamers Guild. Another 7.5, one worth checking out. So there you go, folks. Those are the games that I took a look at a year, five years, and ten years ago. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and this has been Look Back on the Dice Tower.